please stand for the singing of the Negro National Anthem. Soccer. In fact, that theme list of the roots or the red devil's everything. 
came to this country. The flag of Republic Congo consists of three rising colors for a breeze of alizing in the agriculture and forestry Congo. The yellow represents the friendship and mobilizing Congo's people and red to explain. Again, my name is Rihanna and I bring you greetings from the Republic of Congo. And leave me with the saying, little girls makes life sweeter and sweet girls makes your heart bigger. And I thank you. Bonjour, my name is Jocelyn Simmons. I am in the fifth grade and I attend Simbok Middle School. Today I represent Burkina Faso. Did you know Burkina Faso is located in the southern Sahara Desert and also has a population of 16.3 million and is about the same size as the state of Colorado? Again, my name is Jocelyn Simmons and today I represent Burkina Faso. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Anna Micaiah Taylor, and I am a fourth grader at Bogoway Elementary School. I bring you greetings from Cote d'Ivoire. This ravishing country has breathtaking beach resorts, lush green rainforests, and did you know 30% of the world's cocoa beans come from this island? Again, my name is Anna Micaiah Taylor, and I bring you greetings from Cote d'Ivoire. Au revoir. about 1,500 kilometers away from East Africa. Their main language is called Sisilwa, which is a French Creole. Although Seychelles is considered the smallest African nation, it is known for its relaxing beaches and makes a wonderful vacation destination, and I hope you consider going there one day. Again, my name is Kiona King, bringing you greetings from Seychelles. Merci, au revoir. My name is Gabby Glass. I am in second grade and today I represent Kenya. Did you know Kenya is named after Mount Kenya, the tallest mountain in the country? It's located on the equator. Again, my name is Gabby Glass and I bring you greetings from Kenya. My name is Kamaya King. I'm in the fifth grade and I attend Ramstein Intermediate School. Today I represent Sierra Leone. Did you know, although some speak Creole, the official language is English? Sierra Leone was named by Portuguese explorer Pedro de Sintra, who mapped the region in 1462. Again, my name is Kamaya King and I bring you greetings from Sierra Leone. My name is Cora Goodman, fourth grade, and I attend Simba Middle School. Today I represent the country Malawi. Did you know Malawi is a landlocked country in South Africa? Also, its primary resources are tobacco and tea. It's under the third largest lake in Africa, Lake Malawi. Again, my name is Cora Good, and I bring you greetings from Malawi.
sponsored by Student Council. Since it is Black History Month, we are doing this pageant. The contestants will be explaining various African Americans they want to be when they grow up. The contestants will be from various schools in Germany. Thank you and enjoy. The purpose of this pageant is to raise money for St. Jude Research Hospital. Not only is the pageant to donate money, but it is also to fund student council. At St. Jude, you will never receive a bill for treatment, housing, or food. They ship five research programs. If you, they help all types of cancer, so if you or someone you love has cancer, go there right away. Now, Miss War Ray International Africa 2016 will blow you away through song.
we'll have the next section. This category, the young ladies have chosen a famous African American that does the same career that they think that they may do or want to do when they grow up. So they're going to give you some information about that person and we hope you enjoy and learn some new interesting facts about some African Americans that you may or may not have known. turned her house into a school to help undereducated kids. She was asked by George H. W. Bush to be the Secretary of Education, but declined to favor teaching one student at a time. Finally, in 2004, she received a medal for her teaching and school reform efforts. Because of Margaret Collins, I will and I can become a teacher. This person was born in 1917, and after a troubled childhood, she turned to singing. She was discovered in an amateur contest, where she later became top female jazz singer. She was known as the first lady song, and the first female African American woman to win a Grammy. She won 13 Grammys and sold more than 40 million albums. Because of Ella Fitzgerald, I can and I will become a singer. This person was born to 10 for 10, 1982. She is an American ballet dancer for American Ballet Theater. On June 30th, the 2015, she became the first African American woman to be promoted to principal dancers. In 75 year history, she was considered a prodigy who rose to stardom despite not starting ballet until the age of 13. Until the age of 13, she was an award-winning dancer because of Mindy Danielle Copeland. I can and I will become a dancer. This lady was the first African American woman to ever earn a medical doctor degree. She was born in 1831 and died in 1895. She lived with a great passion for medicine. At the age of 21, she was already a nurse without any proper training. After practicing for a full eight years, she was accepted into a medical doctor school where she earned her official credentials as a medical doctor. I love to read and I love to write, and my ultimate passion is to become a doctor. And because of Rebecca Lee Crumpler, I can and I will become a doctor. On June 30th, 2015, I became the first African American female to become a principal ballet dancer. But life for me was not a crystal stair. I went through many obstacles, starting age at 13, starting ballet at age of 13, and living in California. But I've been a firebird ever since. Because of Misty Copeland, I can and I will become a ballet dancer. Did you know this Australian person lived in Burkina Faso with his wife, Jocelyn, for more than 30 years? He gave free food and medical care and attention to people who were in need. But unfortunately, in 2016, he was kidnapped and still is missing. Because of Ken Elliott, I will and I can become a doctor. Did you know that this person was an African-American physician and author, becoming a doctor of medicine in 1864? After studying at New England Female College, 
She was the first African American woman to, to become a physician in the United States. She graduated medical college and published her book at a time in history when very few African Americans were allowed to attend medical college or public books because of Rebecca Lee Crumpler. I can and I will become a doctor. And I thank you. She faced poverty and prejudice as a young student, but was determined to become a physician. She had dedicated her career to medical care for poor and minority families. Her and campaigns for health care equality for all Americans. Her 1986 study on sickle cell disease led to a nationwide screening program to test newborns for immediate treatment and was the first African-American woman to direct a public health service bureau. Because of Marilyn Hughes Gaston, I can and I will become a physician. Did you know this person was a trailblazing attorney and became the first African-American female judge in the United States? She attended Yale Law School and was the first African-American woman to earn a law degree from the university. Because of Jane Matilda Boland, I can and I will become a lawyer.
Center Pace.
Ladies and gentlemen, Jocelyn Simmons. Jocelyn is an 11 year old fifth grader and she attends Simbach Middle School. Her talents and hobbies include gymnastics, playing outside, arts and crafts, and shopping. Three words that best describe Jocelyn are funny, smart, and helpful. Her favorite foods are Chinese, pumpkin pie, and baked potatoes. When Jocelyn grows up, her ambition is to become a doctor. Ladies and gentlemen, Jocelyn Simmons. Jocelyn, who is your role model and why? My role model is Barack Obama because he was the first black president. Jocelyn's girl power song is Overcomer. Ladies and gentlemen, Anna Taylor. Anna is a nine-year-old fourth grader and she attends Bogalay Elementary School. Her talents and hobby include ballet, singing, riding her bike, and putting on makeup. Three words that best describe Anna are kind, friendly, and obedient. Her favorite foods are pizza, sesame chicken, and rice. Anna's ambition is to become a pediatrician. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Anna Taylor. <clears throat> Anna, what is your favorite thing to do with your family and why? My favorite thing to do with my family is to have a movie night. Movie night includes popcorn, family fun, and pizza. Thank you. And our girl power song is It's a Beautiful Day. Ladies and gentlemen, Kiona King. Kiona is 10 years old and she attends German school. Her hobbies and talents include singing, gymnastics, soccer, comedy, spelling, reading, and writing. Three words that best describe Kiona are smart, kind, and extraordinary. Her favorite foods are pizza, salad, and barbecue chicken. Kiona's ambition is to become a doctor and a gymnast. Ladies and gentlemen, Kiona King. Kiona, if you could meet someone famous, who would you choose and why? If I could meet someone famous, I would choose Adele because I really like her song. Thank you. Kiana's Girl Power song is Toast. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Kiabri Glass. Kiabri is seven years old and she attends Ramstein Elementary School. Her talents and hobby include dancing, singing, and YouTubing. Three words that best describe Kiabri are caring, funny, and entertaining. Her favorite foods are macaroni and cheese, chicken nuggets, and McDonald's. When she grows up, 
She wants to own her own dance studio. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Kiabri Glass. Kiabri, what is your favorite subject in school and why? My favorite subject in school is science because in science we get to learn a lot of new cool things and discover them and adventure. Kiabri's girl power song is Adele. Ladies and gentlemen, Kamaya King. Kamaya is 10 years old and she attends Ramstein Intermediate School. Her talents and hobby include gymnastics, singing, and playing soccer. Her favorite foods are chicken nuggets, barbecue chicken, and her grandmother's homemade baked beans. Three words that best describe her are outgoing, charismatic, and active. When Kamaya grows up, she would like to become a gymnast, a, I'm sorry, a gymnast. Ladies and gentlemen, Kamaya King. Kamaya, what can you do to help people who are in need? What I can do to help people who are in need is donate my clothes to charities. Kamaya's Girl Power Song and Tacos. Cora's ambition is to become a teacher. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Cora Good. My greatest accomplishment has been becoming a cheerleader flyer on the New Egypt Cheerleaders team. Thank you. For the Power Song is great. Ladies and gentlemen, these are your contestants for the first Little Miss Europe East pageant. We will have a brief intermission for about 10 to 15 minutes. You can help yourself to some snacks over there while we have time to calculate the results. Thank you. <laughs> May I have your attention, please? The judges are going to need a little bit longer because there are several ties. So they need a little more time to collaborate. And because of that, they would like to grab a little Scooby snack. So they're gonna get a little snack, think, ponder, wander, and hopefully we'll be back in a few minutes. $100 to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Give them a round of applause. Thank you, student council. You may have a seat. Okay, now, the judges have said, in order to break the tie, the top four contestants will all be asked the same question. It will be a question that I pull from the basket. The top four contestants are Rihanna Alam, Jocelyn Simmons, Anna Taylor, and Kiona King. Congratulations to the four of you. <laughs> Rihanna will answer the question first. You will go to center stage. 
Rihanna. The question I have chosen is number three. Rihanna, name one thing you look forward to being allowed to do when you get a little bit older. One thing that I look forward when I get a little bit older is to go to college because this step in my life could benefit my future life with leading opportunities. And I thank you. Jocelyn, please come forward. One thing I look forward to do when I get a little bit older is to get a job because I would like to save money for my college. Thank you. Anna, please come forward. One thing I look forward to being to do when I'm a little bit older is to take a hike and feel the breeze on my face by myself. Thank you. Fiona, please come forward. Name one thing you look forward to being allowed to do when you get a little bit older. One thing I'm looking forward to being allowed to do when I get a little bit older is to have rail car because that I will not have to be late for the circuit that I have to get to. We will have about three minutes, five minutes, for the judges to, four minutes for the judges to calculate the final score. To help with the crowning, for the Little Miss Europe East will be former Miss International Africa, which is Miss, we call her Miss Ray, because her real name is a little difficult to pronounce, but I'll let her her real name. Good evening, everyone. Well, good afternoon, excuse me. My name is Ms. Dere Soiree. I'm a former Miss International Africa 2016, and it's truly been an honor watching them do this pageant because it brings back memories from when I used to do pageants. This one's a lot more fun, though, because I know the actual pageant industry is a lot more hardcore and tense, but it was really refreshing to see them work so hard. They put so much into it, and they look so beautiful and they know they used to get annoyed with me yelling at them, but they're doing a great job right now. I'm so proud of you guys. Thank you. Okay. I would like to thank everyone for your participation, for your donations, for your support. The list is too long for me to name individual names, and I don't want to forget anyone. So therefore, I just say thank you to everyone. Here we go. Miss Future was a category because of them. I can. What they wanted to be when they grew up and they dressed like that person. So, Miss Future will receive a crown, a sash, $50, and a little gift basket with some goodies in it. Miss Future, congratulations to Kiona King. Our second runner-up, Miss Jocelyn Simmons. Miss Jocelyn will receive one hundred dollars. A pair of sapphire earrings and another bag of goodies. Congratulations, Miss Jocelyn Simmons. Our first runner. 
runner up will receive $200, a pair of emerald earrings, trophy, bag of goodies, and that person, young lady, is Miss Anna Taylor. Take your walk. 